Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. Representative Patton, can I get a response from you with regard to this? No, no comment. You might be under the misimpression that this was the first Ridley Ambush interview. Well, actually, I don't really remember what my first ambush interview was, but I remember what the first thing I ever did that was kind of like an ambush interview. It was more like bird dogging without a recorder. And it happened in, I think, 1987. I sort of went to a speech by Stokely Carmichael and sort of kept interrupting him. Uh, he, I'd never heard of him, but and he was going by some weird African name that I had not, I had never seen it. Like, it, they never displayed his name, Stokely Carmichael. I, would, I guess I had heard of Stokely Carmichael, but I had not heard of whoever he was claiming he was at the time he was giving the speech. But from listening to the speech, he, he really, they, you know, the people say, you know, people accused him of being a communist. Well, he sure sounded like one in the speech. Uh, but what struck me during my heckling was how tolerant they sort of were of it. Eventually, they talked me into not asking any more questions during the speech. No one threatened me or anything. He answered some of my questions. I think what I was asking him about was he was, he was crowing over... I don't know how great some of these communist countries were, and I uh, interrupted him to ask if why why uh, you know if people if it's so great why can't people leave? I mean they're stopped from leaving and yet it's a great place. And then I guess I was calling him out on that he was criticizing capitalism or something, and I was trying to make the point that it was mercantilism that he was really criticizing. I think he was talking about stuff that had happened in the 1700s, 1800s. I wasn't really a liberty guy back then, but I was on the right track with my line of questioning. Now, after the speech, again, what was so impressive was, in addition to treating me pretty respectfully as an equal and not threatening me and not really trying to shut me up much, um, that was Carmichael, the, the, the local communist community, it, it, I, I was at the university at the time, uh, I, and, and there was a small communist contingent at uh, Norman, uh, where I went to school, the University of Oklahoma, and they came, some of them came up to me, and they were really nice. You shook my hand, you know, just had a nice, polite discussion with me, uh, a conservative gal, probably, or at least one who, you know, agreed with me, came up and... Uh, thanked me for my point or said she agreed with it. I really should have taken advantage of that, that situation. I sort of let her get, get away from the room, but um, without asking her out. When you listened to Carmichael speak, it, to me it seemed kind of an ugly thing. He had this sort of nasty demeanor. And yet, on the other hand, he treated me as an equal, even though I was only about 19. He was standing up there basically praising North Korea, but 10 years later, around 1998, when I heard that he had died, I was very sad. I considered him to be a, a good memory. That event where he was speaking created a, a sort of a bond between me and the socialist community in, in town, even though I was a conservative. It never was broken. And it, it, it provided me an insight, or maybe it's just now providing me an insight, that civic engagement doesn't have to be a divider. The fact that you share an interest in politics with someone, even if you want to use it to hurt them and they want to use it to hurt you, it's still something you have in common. Uh, it's kind of like Churchill used to say about Hitler, you know, I, I, I'd love to have coffee with the guy. Uh, we, you know, I, I, we, we share in common this desire to, you know, stick up for our people. You know, we have many interests in common. Hitler never, never met with Churchill. It was Hitler's idea not to. But there's just something about people who, are, who care about what's going on, whether, no matter how wrong they are, uh, that gives them value as human beings. Maybe not enough to give them a net positive value, but it, it's there and it's worth acknowledging. Why does the world look like this? Well, it's because you're using these instead of these.
Admittedly, so am I sometimes. But if you're not using Bitcoin yet, you're missing the boom of the century. So go to Bitcoin.com, get their free wallet, find out what it's like to be in a free market. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you.